you know, the trends do seem to be shifting us closer to an endemic phase. Those protocols are relaxing accordingly. You know, most students in our area are soon going to get to choose whether or not they want to mask in the classroom. Last night, CMS Board of Education voting to move to mask optional. That starts on March 7th. So you might be wondering, how does the science and the research play into this decision? WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner is joining us live from Providence Day School to talk about that. So, Chloe, you spoke with a pediatric disease specialist with Duke. What did they tell you about the safety of our kids in schools? Hey, Vanessa, well, she has done a lot of research over the last two years looking into COVID spread in the classroom and what protective measures can keep kids safe. And that includes a brand new study focusing on kids here at Providence Day School. And she says the data has been consistent. They have found that things like masking and vaccinations, they work. The pandemic has taught us a lot in and out of the classroom. Researchers have been carefully studying COVID spread within schools to guide policies on how to best protect children. What we found has been fairly consistent. In schools that have used universal masking, especially prior to the Omicron variant spread, there was clearly a substantial, substantially lower um, incidence of COVID-19 in those schools. That's why Dr. Ibukan Kalu, a pediatric disease physician at Duke University, says face coverings should be slowly phased out. But the reality is mask policies will soon flip like a switch for many kids as the state pushes for districts to go optional by March 7th. The change is reinforcing the need for other safety measures. And ultimately, we still need to have a foundation of safety within schools. And I think vaccinations can play that role. Backing that up, a recent study she collaborated on with a Providence Day School student. They compared COVID cases among vaccinated and unvaccinated students during the Delta surge when kids under 12 weren't yet eligible to get the shots. What they found was that there was a higher incidence of infections in students that were unvaccinated. So Providence Day School is a private school, but they do fall under Mecklenburg County's mask mandate. So they have had mandatory masking here on campus since the start of the school year, but that will be dropped on Monday. Now to that vaccine study she was talking about that was actually created and thought of by a student here on campus. We'll hear more from him coming up at six. Live in Charlotte, Chloe Lashner, WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, I heard that little tidbit in your piece just now, Chloe, so I can't wait to hear more about the student. Thank you.